Can you repeat the first part of that? I missed that. Yeah, a lot of people of color feel like they're a unfairly targeted. A lot of people targeted. of color. A lot of people of color. How many people of color have you talked to about that? I mean, if you look at surveys. Um, Which I surveys? I'm happy, to, I'm happy to look at those stats. Because I will tell you this, that I talk to people of color. I talk to all Arizonans. They're all concerned about the crime. Just because your skin isn't the same color as yours doesn't mean you want your kids to be walking down the street in an unsafe neighborhood. Every Arizonan wants safety and security in their neighborhood. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. And, I, and if you look at stats, you will look and see that, that police do not target people of color. That is a lie that's been perpetuated by the left and then spread and disseminated and re-spread in the media. Check the stats. Check the stats. Do you don't believe that's an opinion a lot of people of color have? Uh, I don't. I think you guys find one or two people, three or four, and they're activists oftentimes, and then you spread that narrative. Go into a neighborhood and ask the people in neighborhoods that are minority neighborhoods, do you want fewer police? Do you want to defund the police? They will look at you like you are the craziest person on the planet. Nobody wants that. You said you feel like Joe Biden is dividing the country, but do you feel like Donald Trump is doing the same by falsely telling people that he won that election when he lost it? How does that divide the country? Questioning, questioning an election where there are obviously problems is, is dividing the country? Since when can we not ask questions about our elections? As a journalist for many years, I was a journalist after 2016, and I distinctly remember many people just like you asking a lot of questions about the 2016 election results. And nobody tried to shut you up. Nobody tried to tell Hillary Clinton to shut up. Nobody tried to tell Kamala Harris when she was questioning the uh, legitimacy of these electronic voting machines to stop. We're, we have freedom of speech in this country, and you of all people should appreciate that. You're supposedly a journalist. You should appreciate that. So I don't see how asking questions about an election where there are many problems is dividing a country. What I do see dividing a country is shutting people down, censoring people, canceling people, trying to destroy people's lives when they do ask questions. Last I heard, we still have the Constitution. It's hanging by a thread, thanks to some of the work some people in this area have done. But we're going to save that Constitution, and we're going to bring back freedom of speech. And maybe someday you'll thank us for that. Everything, if, if, I can't understand you with that mask on. If you want to have a conversation without the mask on, I'm happy to, but I, I, I seriously can't hear you. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. You don't have a mask on anymore. What's going on? We're outside. Do you have a minute to chat? Well, we're six feet apart. Do you have a minute to chat? Um, I'll do an interview. Okay. As long as it airs on CNN Plus. Oh. <laughs> Does that still exist? Yeah. I didn't think so because the people don't like what you guys are peddling, so, which is propaganda. Thank do, you. That's involuntary I just have to throw this at you, and because you live in a border state that has borne the brunt of the lawlessness on our border, we've just received digital footage of illegal aliens being dropped off in Martha's Vineyard. Apparently, the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis flew them there on the idea that communities, border towns in Texas and Arizona are bearing all the brunt and maybe the people who make these policies should have to live with them. What's your view of this? You know, I actually, I get a kick out of it watching these liberal mayors just, you know, throw their hands up and say we can't handle it because it's life every day for us in these border states. However, I'm not a fan of it, Tucker. I mean, we're just taking people here illegally who shouldn't be here. We're moving yeah. them further inland. My plan is the most bold, aggressive plan on the border. We're going to secure the border. We're going to call it what it is, issue a declaration of invasion on day one, get troops on the border in the form of our National Guard. We're going to stop people from from coming over and we're going to stop the the cartels from having control of our border I don't like it as a mother and I know no Arizonan likes it that we are the pipeline for the most dangerous deadly drug this country's ever seen called fentanyl number one killer of young people it's all coming through Arizona because Joe Biden gave control of our border to the cartels and on day one we're going to invoke our article 1 section 10 authority and take back control of our border away from the federal government. They've, it's a dereliction of duty what they've done. Yes. And we're not going to let Joe Biden drag the state of Arizona down while he's trying to destroy this country. Tell yes. me, it, 
Abortion is effectively banned in the state right now. Tell me, do you, is that something that you support? I support saving as many lives as possible. And what I really want to know, and I've been waiting, I tune into you guys all the time, I want to know where Katie Hobbs stands, but I never hear you guys ask for that. I'm pro-life. My plan would be that every woman who walks into an abortion clinic know that there are options out there. They don't have to choose Thank that. You. There's families who would love to adopt a baby. And right now, the way it's been going, mm -hmm. they go in and they, they only have That's one it. option. That's it. Nobody That's tells them that there's other options. Yeah. We want to help our women. If they're afraid, we want to help them. True. We want to give women health care. And I want to help people. But I really challenge you, and I'm, I'm happy to get back to you on this, when you find out where Katie Hobbs stands, because let me tell you where she stands. She supports abortion right up until birth Thank and after you. birth. That's right. She supports if a baby survives a botched abortion, that that baby die on a cold metal tray. True. And none of you ever try to get her to talk about her stance. So get back to me after you do. Thank and you. tell her. I want to debate this topic on October 12th, but she really needs to show up for that debate. Yes. It looks like my radical opponent, Katie Hobbs, is going to take a page out of Joe Biden's playbook and campaign from her basement. Do you want to find out if she's serious about being governor? If she is, she will take me up on this offer. Katie, I'm speaking directly to you. You claim to care about the people of Arizona. Prove it. Debate me. You name the time and you name the place. And to make things even easier for you, I will allow you to choose the moderator. Hell, I'll even let you write the questions. Seriously, your consultants can write every single question. Ask me anything. This is your opportunity to prove to the people of Arizona that you actually have a tiny sliver of respect for them. I'm making it unbelievably easy for you. Think really hard before you turn down this chance. I don't think you'll do it. I think you are a coward. Prove me wrong. Hi Arizona, I'm Carrie Lake, the Trump endorsed candidate for governor. If you're watching this ad right now, it means you're in the middle of watching a fake news program. You know how to know it's fake? because they won't even cover the biggest story out there. 2020 have consequences. We're all feeling it. Soaring prices, a spike in homelessness and an invasion on our border. I'm the only candidate with a plan to tackle all of those issues and more. When I'm governor, we'll finish the wall and criminals who cross our border will be sent back. We'll get the homeless out of our parks and off our streets and no more masks, swabs, or shots to go to work or go to school. Our kids will get a real education, not a brainwashing. To see where I stand on all the issues, go to carrylake.com. Now let's send the corrupt news a lesson and turn them off. Carrie Lake for governor. Now I gotta tell you, I have some of these know-nothing consultants who tell me, you know, you really need to back away from President Trump right now. And I say to them, put down Hunter's crack pipe right now. Wouldn't it be horrible? Wouldn't it be horrible? What would it say about my character if I stepped away from my friends? If I step away from my friends, that means I would step away from you and I will never step away from the people of Arizona. And so for those know nothing consultants and the media, I want to show you what it looks like when I step away from President Trump. This guy's great. There is no path to victory for my opponent, and we won this race. Period. But there's a ton of problems with the system. You know what's going on in Pinal County? They knew we were going to have record turnout because we aren't going to take it anymore. And one hour into voting, they ran out of ballots. What the hell's going on? What in the hell is going on? 
This is why we're in this race. This is why we have this movement right here. Today I went into a local church to vote in the primaries here in Arizona and the worker told me that they had ran out of Republican ballots and they were closing early. But anyone registered as a Democrat was still going inside and voting. Now I was forced to drive another 10 miles north to another polling location. Some people left around the same time as me, they didn't even show up, likely just went home. Now I searched through Twitter and found thousands of others that were reporting the same thing. A poll worker relayed some information to somebody that they only had the ability to print 40 Republican ballots. This isn't some small district in, in the middle of nowhere. This is a large county in a very large district. For them to run out of ballots at 10 a.m. just doesn't add up. 